around his head. What really lies there? Some cynics have said that that space is full of air. But I disagree. And I believe behind that thick and stare, there are two tiny men that dwell between his nose and hair. In Mitt Romney's head, each man has a room behind one eye. While one man is in bed, the other takes control of Romney. They don't know each other exists, even though they're just a pinch apart. It's not that Mitt's inconsistent. There's just this battle going on for control of his heart. If we could open his skull, hypothetically under anesthesia, you'd see it's not full of love. It's just the situation causes amnesia. I mean, if you had two men in your brain who were constantly alternating control, don't you think it'd be hard to maintain some invariability in your soul? So have compassion then, before you judge the man, before you go bashing him, just try to understand that Romney's head. Two men are resident. I guess that it could be said. Both guys are running for president. So when you vote in November, all that I ask is remember whether you're blue or you're red. Remember Mitt Romney.